This is so bad. I never wanted to tell this story. Kill me now. But no, it does not stop there. It doesn't stop there. Where'd you get it from? <gasps> from Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's. Are you guys ready to the day for today's to video? Day. Ooh, she knows it again. Are you guys ready for today's video? <laughs> so we are here together, all together to welcome you guys. But they will be leaving. We will be leaving because Evelyn's got some tea to spill. Babe, actually, I'm, I might have to call you in once or twice yeah, to give, not. you know, when your okay, testimony. Babe. My testimony? <laughs> I know we left you guys hanging on our last video. I promise it was worth the wait I'm about to explain. You guys know probably by the title of this video what we're talking about. But guys, you will never believe it. And Jacob knows it's about to go down, copy, right? Copy the copy. Okay. Light guys. Lighters. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. It's about time. Let me explain what happened in that moment. But before, before I explain to all the people who you know were worried about me or anything, thank you so much. Let me put my drink down. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your well wishes. I am doing um, good. I'm grateful Jaden wasn't there. The car is total, um, so it is drivable, but um, it is totaled. So we're gonna have to figure out what we can do with the insurance. We're probably gonna have to get a new car. My neck and my back have been hurting so much. Been having the worst headaches ever. I went to the doctor today. They prescribed me some medicine, so I should be taking that soon. And then I'm gonna go to the chiropractor to see to make sure that everything's okay and they can fix me up. But I'm good, guys. I'm good enough to tell you what went down. This is so bad. I never wanted to tell this story. The moment you guys have been waiting for is here. In that moment, when I turned around this way and I look up into the classroom, I see the girl. You know what? Let's give her a name. We're going to give her a name. Pink. Because when I met her, she had pink hair. Last year, I've been in college for God knows how many years. I've been there too long. I went to class last year in the fall. I got there early and I sat down. On the next table, on the side of the table, there was a girl with a pink wig. Oh my God, I'm shaking just talking about this. I never want her to see this ever in her life because I'm so embarrassed. She was sitting down on the table with her pink wig and her wig was really cute. So I'm sitting down. I don't know how I came about to be, but she asked me. Um, I can't remember if it was for a pen or for a direction or something. So when she asked me, we began a conversation. And her conversation was okay. We were getting along, whatever we talked, we got each other's number on this app where you can talk to a lot of students. <sighs> I'm so scared. Okay, so then 
we went into our classroom. We sat down next to each other. In the classroom, she kept interrupting the teacher. I'm sorry, but I'm the type of person that will sit up close to the front of the class so I can understand and focus. Because if I sit in the back, I'm going to watch things on my phone. I ain't going to feel like I need to pay attention. So I sit myself at the front so I can pay attention to what the teacher is saying. Well, I was listening. I'm not trying to justify myself, but I am. <laughs> I was listening to the teacher. I was just making sure that I was with the program so I wouldn't be left behind. Okay? No child left behind. And Pink next to me kept interrupting the teacher. I'm sorry. Again. I'm so bad, but I was getting a little bit annoyed. But you know what? I brushed it off. Then I had a Voss water glass bottle right here. And the teacher was already looking at us a little bit like sus because she's like, these people keep talking. The teacher wasn't that kind. She, she looked a little bit. Mm. The teacher asked for somebody to help pass out some papers. And Pink gets up and tells her she's going to help her. When she gets up, she bumps over my water bottle. My water bottle breaks. The water spills everywhere. The teacher's already mad because she says she doesn't like drinks or food inside the class. So then she sees my water bottle just spilling all over because the cap broke off. I don't even know how. It was glass. I don't even know. It was just carpet. It broke though. I see the water spilling everywhere. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, this teacher's gonna fire me. She's she's, she's gonna be like, get out, girl, get out, get out. I pick up the water bottle, I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm trying to wipe the floor, and the teacher's just looking at me like, that's why I told y'all I don't like water and food and stuff in my class. That's why I told y'all. She looking at me like it was my fault. Yeah, I just, I just want to drizzle the floor with some water. No, I didn't do it on purpose. She saw her get up. She saw her bump into my desk. It was by accident. She didn't do it on purpose, but still, like, why are you looking at me? It's water, girl. It's going to dry up. Pink was apologetic. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I was already frustrated, okay? I was all the way over here. I was on my period. Well, being on my period, I get so, so angry, which again, does not justify my actions. A hundred percent doesn't. I was already frustrated she kept interrupting the class. And then on top of that, I was frustrated that the teacher looked at me like it was my fault. And then she looked at me like she was going to give me an F the whole class because I had spilled some water on the carpet she don't even pay for. Carpet's been there since 1999. I don't even know why she was tripping. But anyways, made me frustrated. So you know what? What do girls always do when somebody messes with you? You text your man. So I was like, you know what? I got tea for my man. I got to let him know because he's my best friend. Who else am I going to tell? So I pull up my phone and instead of calling him because my dumb self should have called him. But no, I decided to text like a dumb person. Pull down my phone, started typing. And I was like, babe. I'm just leaving class and I met this girl but she was getting annoying in class and she broke my water bottle and then the teacher got mad at me like it was my fault and I don't even know if I want to sit next to her next class like oh I don't even know what to say I wrote a whole paragraph a whole story I wrote a whole biography okay a whole biography of how much I was mad at this chick for what she had done. And I understand I am wrong for this. Please don't come at me. Please learn from my mistakes. It was the worst mistake of my life. I will carry it with me forever. So then I click send. I clicked send you know that green little bubble where it says send no it's blue oh, i don't know what it is something it says send i click s-e-n-d send and guess who i send that message to kill me now i send the message to pink but no it does not stop there it doesn't stop there i sent it to more than a hundred people in the class I want to cry I want to cry it's so dramatic
that I just thinking about it again. I said it to more than a hundred people. I swear. unsend this message so I couldn't unsend it people read it um she read it I cried to say the least and this was the first day of class and I was like I can't drop out of class I have her in two classes out of the three that I'm taking and I need these classes to pass. What What do you do? I call Jacob and I'm crying and I'm like, babe, look what happened. I don't know what to do. There was nothing else to do. She had already read it. And I messaged her and I was like, look, I'm so sorry for what I said. Nothing justifies me. I should have never said the things that I said. I, I didn't curse her out or anything. I just talked bad about her. I said she was annoying. And who wants to hear they're annoying? Nobody. Like, I'm so fake. I could have just told her, hey, can you stop talking? But I didn't. I told my husband in the privacy of, in the comfort of my own home. But I didn't. I sent it to the whole world. I saw her every day for a whole semester as a reminder of how dumb I was. As a reminder of how fake I was. As a reminder to me that I freaking suck at texting. That I will send texts to random people because I do this all the time, okay? I'm, I think I'm texting Jacob and I'm texting a whole group chat where it was like God telling me, why are you doing this? You are fake and you know what? I'm gonna expose you. God was exposing me. He was exposing me. He was like, why are you going to do them like that being done to you? I want to expose you. Since then, you know what? If I talk about somebody, I keep it to myself. I talk to myself within myself. Okay? I don't. I don't. Now, if I have a problem with you, I will go up to you and I will tell you. And I felt so bad. It's been a year. And I'm still mentally and physically traumatized. So in the moment, when I turned around like this, <laughs> guess who I saw? Pink. I saw pink again in my class one more year to remind me of how just horrible person I am. I was there sitting down and my heart jumped out of my seat and I was like, God, why me? Why? I already asked for forgiveness, okay? I asked for forgiveness from her, from the Lord Jesus Christ above. But you know what? It keeps me in check. It's so embarrassing, guys. Every day of the class, I'm going to see her again. Do you know how embarrassing this is? It is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I'm telling you guys because I have to vent. I have to tell somebody and that was it. That was it. My past is coming to haunt me again. Like I'm just so sorry. Like I am so sorry. I don't even know what to say anymore. I hope I fulfilled your desire with my life and screwing up my life. As an enjoyment to you, sir, cheers. This is my life. It's crazy, guys. Babe, wow. you wanna come here real quick? So yeah, she was uh, very, very upset and I was just like, well, what did you do? She's like, I sent this girl and then she sent me like a bunch of screenshots. I sent her the screen. Do you still yeah. have them? Uh. If we still have them, I'm gonna put them up here for you so you guys can see how bad it was. So we don't have the text message that I sent her. Well, we do have the screenshot of 
the apology she sent her. I'm gonna show you guys the apology here so you guys can see what was going through my mind. But look guys, I filmed that day. And this was when I had my makeup channel and I was filming on my phone. And I filmed my reaction that same day because I had to tell somebody and I never posted it because I was so embarrassed. Yeah. So I'm gonna put clips of that in here. I needed to vent because the worst thing happened to me. And I said that to a group chat that she linked me to. And there's just like no coming from it and I don't know what to do. And it just makes me seem like such a fake person. And because that, that's not who I am. And I don't know why I did that. And I, I just feel so bad. And I want to apologize to her. I wouldn't blame her if she wouldn't talk to me again. Looking back, it was kind of funny. It was not funny. But the worst, like. So guys, like, yeah, delete the group text at least. Oh my god. Yeah. I get it, guys. Try this was my initial hits. reaction. I don't know how to end this video. Okay. <laughs> but you so know. Before we go. Yeah. Before we go, let's just give a shout out. Yeah. Um. So today's shout out goes to Gabriela Hernandez. Shout out to you. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday to you. You want to sing happy birthday, Jenny? Hey, happy birthday. Wait, right. she wants to sing it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Welcome. Her name's Gabriela. 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 Yeah. Happy birthday Day to you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your love, your support. support. If you guys want a shout out, shout out, leave your comments down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our family. Share our videos and to everybody who is new, thank you for being part of the family. Yes. Thank you for joining us. We met a few girls at uh, Dick's Last Resort. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for becoming part of the fam. And uh, to anybody else, tell your friends and your family to be part of our fam. And what do we do? We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.